I feel like this is important. A lot of people are getting this wrong. If you learn something here, I'd love if you were actually honest and let me know underneath, because I see, okay, customers get it wrong, but I don't expect them to always be right. But I've seen people that work in the motor trade and I also see motoring journalists even getting this wrong. I need to explain it with three different cars. One of them is mild hybrid, one of them is full hybrid, and one of them is plug-in hybrid. Three types of vehicles. Number one, this is a mild hybrid. This is actually a diesel mild hybrid. So a mild hybrid has a teeny weeny battery. The battery on the mild hybrid is about 48 volts, sits in the boot, that's about half a kilowatt hour. You don't have to worry about the numbers too much, but for the sake of visual representation, let's imagine that's the size of the battery in the mild hybrid. When I'm driving the mild hybrid, the battery, if I put my foot down, is going to give some assistance to the engine. And when I'm slowing down in the mild hybrid, it'll start harvesting energy back. And it harvests that energy through regenerative braking. Anyway, here's the thing. The mild hybrid's stronger electrical system takes some of the strain off the engine and that makes it slightly more fuel efficient. It'll help start the car, it'll help run some of the electrical systems in the car, but what's important, mild hybrid cannot drive on electrical power only. That brings us on to the next one, so, which is full hybrid. A full hybrid car like this has a petrol engine and it also has a battery. The big difference is the battery has moved up in size. Typical battery size on a full hybrid like this is usually about kind of one and a half kilowatt hours. Using my really crude visual representation, the battery gets significantly bigger when you go from mild hybrid to full hybrid. And actually, this is the one I've seen people confuse. They call these full hybrids, mild hybrids. So hopefully, mild hybrid, full hybrid. And the significance on the full hybrid over here is that this car can drive in full battery mode run by the battery, or it can drive using the engine and the battery. And this car decides itself when it's going to use battery and when it's going to use engine. It can do it at various speeds, but usually you're going to get circa a quarter of a kilometer, half a kilometer of a burst of EV driving, and then it'll recharge and it'll give you more bursts of EV driving as you move along. Okay, let's think about the plug-in. Mild hybrid, 48 volt battery. Full hybrid, around 1.5 kilowatt hours. And in the case of a Hyundai, the plug-in hybrid has a battery that's actually nearly 10 times as big as the full hybrid. I'm using Hyundai as an example. If you looked at something like a BMW X5 that's got an even bigger plug-in hybrid battery, I'm just using this for reference. And obviously, because we sell Hyundais. Anyway, so that is a way bigger battery. And the significance of a plug-in then basically having a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery means that this car can work in two ways. So it can work just like the full hybrid. If you remember when we looked at the full hybrid, basically it does small little half kilometer bursts. If you never plugged in this car, it'll behave the exact same as the full hybrid we talked about. However, this car you can also ask it to do full electric driving and in a car like this then it's going to give you a quoted 60 but probably around 50-55 kilometers of full electric driving just like an electric car. At any sort of speed and you still have good acceleration even when it's full EV mode and once it's finished then it reverts back to being a full hybrid when it's run out of plug-in charge so it can still do a portion of cell charging just like the full hybrid. To summarize, mild hybrid, small battery, can't drive by itself on electrical power, the battery only helps the engine, makes it a little bit more fuel efficient. Full hybrid, with a battery that's probably three or four times bigger than the mild hybrid, can drive by itself electrically and can do in the region of maybe half a kilometer of electric driving bursts, at which point it can self-charge. Plug-in hybrid, can do the exact same as the full hybrid. It can do some self-charging driving, maybe half kilometer bursts. However, if you plug it in, after two hours of charging, it can do 50 to 55 kilometers of full electric driving, at which point, when it runs out, it reverts back to being the full hybrid. If you knew all this information already, I've completely wasted your time, but if you didn't, please let me know in the comment section, because I definitely see people still mangling the descriptions on this kind of stuff. Uh, and like I said, people that actually work in autos, who I would have thought wouldn't have done it. So anyway, thanks a million for watching, if you watched the whole thing.